I'm going to show you how to get DCC++ installed on your Arduino Uno or Mega without even installing the Arduino IDE or the DCC++ sketch. It's the easiest way possible. So here we go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And if you know what this is, this is an Arduino Uno with an Arduino motor shield. I ran across a post on Facebook the other day that got my interest, and I'm going to share it with you. If you would like to see more videos like this on model railroading and Arduino, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, ding that bell so you could be notified, you know, after you do all that other stuff, whenever I have a new video coming out or a live stream. And you can see my live streams every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And don't forget to check out the playlist where you could find a lot of different videos up there on just about any subject on railroading, model railroading, electronics, and even uh, going to museums in our travels and stuff like that. So take a look at it. A couple of nights ago, I was browsing on Facebook and came across a post on Arduino for model railroading, and it caught my eye. And I'll show you what it is right here. It's DCC EX Base Station Installer. It was uh, posted by Sim Brigden. I hope I got that pronounced right. But uh, Folks, a very cool thing is going on in DCC++. About a dozen people are collaborating on a universal installer for DCC++ for Arduino and MotorShield. So I looked into it. I didn't check it out first. I just read some of the posts on there. And once I tried it out, I found out that the, the link that he had up here was the wrong link. And later on, he came back and said he... he Put the right link on so if you're trying to find this on facebook arduino for model railroading do not click on this first link because the instructions tell you to download from releases section for your operating system unfortunately there is no releases section in any of this right here and i let him know about it and he wrote back and gave me a new link which brings you to it look it has the same icon but it brings you to base station installer alpha version 1.2 and that's what you're going to want to click on here the zip file if you are using windows so let's see what that looks like i have the zip file on my computer right now and we're going to extract it i'm just going to do the default thing extract all ba -ba 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 -ba. wait for it to come up and here is the directory here and here is the executable file it says application we'll click on that Windows protected your PC. There should be a thing on there that says do any, do anyway, run anyway. So click on that little thing up there and said run anyway. Okay, so wait for it to come up. All right, now you see this little graphical user interface right here, DCC++ EX. Okay, and all you have to do is answer these questions right here, and you'll be able to run DCC++. We're going to install that on this base station right here, so you can see how easy it is. Let's hook up everything to this Arduino Uno. Now, I took the motor shield off so I could upload without interfering 
with any of the other, other pins on there that's going through the motor shield. So we'll hook this up and see what happens. Get this out of the way for right now. Okay, we're hooked up now. First thing we want to do is find out what COM port we are in. COM ports. So we're on COM port 7. So let's open up this application right here. Now I'm going to pull this up full screen so we can see what's going on. All right. So here we go. The base station extended or base station classic. We're going to do classic. I'll talk a little bit about the extended later on. So we'll do the classic right here. We'll do Uno. Select motor shield. Arduino motor shield and it gives you how to hook up the jumpers on there and it doesn't tell you about the uh, VIN on the back that you have to scrape off but we'll compile and upload to it. And you can see compiling Flash, page size, all that good stuff. All right, we'll just wait for it to finish. And uploading, compiling, successful. Please check upload log for more details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a sketch and in, in the DCC++ thing, you could uh, open up the serial monitor and it'll show you what is installed on there if it's the DCC++. So make sure that I have everything configured correctly. Okay, I have to change everything on here because I had it set up for the ATtiny on another project. So let's go over to UNO. Okay, Uno, 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 Nano, Uno, right up there. Uno, Arduino Uno port number seven. Let's go down here, programming, USB tiny, uh, Arduino, let me see, uh, ASV, this one right here. We'll open up, okay, the serial monitor right here. It's set for uh, 115. Oh, 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 And let me see if we can get a big, bigger shot of this right now. Okay, so it says I DCC base station, I DCC for Arduino Uno, Arduino Motor Shield version 1.2.1. June 19th, which is today, at 12.55.50. And that's about right, because it's 12.55 or 12.57 right now. So, without going into showing you how to hook up DCC++, you could go back on my other videos to see how to do that, all the wiring and everything. But as far as installing it on here, that's all there was to it. It's done. You don't have to install the sketch. You don't have to install Arduino IDE. All you have to do is install that installer on there that is on the page that I showed you. And that's it. It's done. You have a DCC base station right now. The links for everything will be in the description. But if you want to go directly to the page on Facebook, I'll bring it up right here, but uh, do not clink, click, do not clink, do not click on the first one because that does not have the installer in it. Go down here further in the thing and go to this one here and it takes you to this page where base station installer alpha 1.2 zip and that is all you have to do. 
follow the directions that I just showed you and you'll be good to go and you'll have a working DCC++ base station. Now, as far as the other one goes, uh, let me see, let's pull this up here. The other one that I was talking about, and I'll do a video on this in the future, DCC EX. The DCC EX is a five year effort by model railroaders to improve on the original DCC++, which was written by Greg Berman. He started a train board blog back in 2015 to help out modelers then, but then he disappeared. So other modelers took over from then and been working on it since then. So I'll be doing a video on that a little bit later once I upload that and figure it out and see what new improvements on there because there's five years of train board posts on there. I started out reading them until Greg Berman disappeared Every once in a while, there was posts on Facebook where they would show updates on improvements on there, and I would read about that. But there was just too many posts to keep up with in a five-year period. So, and until the next time, we'll see ya. All right. I took my buddy up the mountain so I could sit on my old rocking chair. I took my body up the mountain and I'm never coming back again, I swear. Woo-hoo, yeah. All right, here it is. Yeah.